this is a story all about Morris. And yes, he's he's a mob. <laughs> There was nothing Morris liked more than sticking his head in a bucket of water and sloshing it all over the floor. He had a great big mop head that sloshed lots of water and as a result he made a terrible, terrible mess. Um, this floor needs mopping, he said. It didn't. But try telling Morris that as he dashed to the cupboard the wrong cupboard and pulled out a bag of flour. Flour? Not not soap powder? Oops, whoops, silly me, he said, realising his mistake, but then dropped it and it went all over the floor. <laughs> now this floor really does need mopping, he grinned happily, and grabbing hold of Beryl the Bucket's hand, he dashed to the sink and filled her up with water. Ouch! That's too hot, she squealed, and tripped, spilling the water all over the flowery floor. Oh dear. Now what do you get when you mix flour and water? I'll tell you, you get a big sticky mess. And the more Morris mopped, the bigger the stickier the mess got. That's not just a mess, said Beryl. That, that's, that's pastry. And by now the pastry was getting harder and harder. Oh, oh, help, I, I'm stuck, wailed Morris, as indeed he was. <laughs> Freddy the fly came along and landed next to him. <laughs> that's a jolly fine mess you've got yourself into, he laughed. If, is there anything I can do to help? Well, there sure is, said Morris miserably. You can get me out of here. No sooner said than done, smiled Freddy. And whistling an ear-piercing whistle, he called his fly friends over from all corners of the room and from the ceiling. They laughed when they saw Morris's predicament. <laughs> um, how do you fancy a bit of Morris en croute? asked Freddy, and his friends laughed all the more. <laughs> what are we waiting for, they chorused, and much to Morris's dismay, they descended on him. Nibble, nibble, nibble. But when Morris realised what they were doing, eating him out of his predicament, he felt a whole lot happier. Um, what's going on, asked Wally the Wellington, coming in from the garden, leaving a trail of footprints. Very muddy footprints. <coughs> Morris grinned when he saw the mud. Mud? Now mud I can deal with. Everyone pitched in to help. More water! Sloshed Beryl, who'd clambered up to the sink. More soap! Laughed Freddy and his friends. Hey, steady guys, said Morris, sounding worried as the bubbles rose higher and higher. Um, can someone open the window? Beryl opened the window and a great blast of wind swept the room full of bubbles up into the sky. Um, uh, where, where's Freddy? asked Morris when the bubbles had cleared. Uh, I'm up here, replied Freddy from the garden. I'm, I'm, I'm trapped in this bubble. Morris looked up as the bubbles rose higher and higher, taking Freddy off into the clouds. Oh, please help. Get me, get me out of here. I, I don't like being a fly who can't fly. Head, head, head for the apple tree, called Morris, running after him. Oh, how do I do that, said Freddy, now upside down. M maybe I can help, cooed Elsie the elephant in a soft, velvety voice. <coughs> and gently breathing in with her trunk she drew Freddy in as she did so just as he reached the tip of her trunk she stopped she sneezed slightly <coughs> and released Freddy gently into the apple tree pop Elsie smiled and settled back down on her swing it has to be said there are no flies on me she crooned as she swayed back and forth.
and looking at the size of those big flapping ears, there were never likely to be. <laughs> the end. <laughs>